Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here, back with another card layout idea. And this time we're just using much larger panels. Last time we were using strips, this time big panels. And this is the layout that I'm going to be using. Don't forget, you can of course download this along with all of the measurements from my blog, gentlemancrafter.com. I will leave a link in the de description on YouTube below. And as I mentioned last time, this week I'm going to be using the, sorry, in this video, using the Free Spirit Papers from First Edition. A massive stack of glorious papers there. I'm going to be working on a black card base this time as well. And I'm going to be choosing one of the sheets um, that's got some glittering detail on it, along with using just the little Namaste sentiment strip. Right, let's do some chopping. As I mentioned, all of the exact dimensions that I've used for this card are on the card layout, which you can download and print from my blog, gentlemancrafter.com. But of course, remember, you can just wing it. It's absolutely fine to just wing it, eyeball it, even translate this to a different sized card. It's entirely up to you. Right, something a little different for me this time. I'm going to be just adding some random distressed embossing powders to the edge of the card. So I'm using a clear embossing ink, which isn't that clear because I've messed it up completely with other inks, uh, but that's fine because you won't see it because I'm using an opaque powder. And then just dipping it in the embossing powder there, as you can see. I'll show you that properly in a minute when I've embossed it. Heat gun, just using that to heat set it and melt the plastic that's in the embossing powder. And there you go, a nice distressed shabby look. That's what I was after. So I'm also going to do that on the patterned card and the light purple card, which by the way is a, um, it's like a glossy card. I don't know whether you've heard of the brand, you probably have, it's Hunky Dory. I know they have a big following in the UK and I believe they've made it to the USA. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the world though. Fabulous card pl uh, card place though. Glorious weight cards and they have a, a special coating which doesn't crack when you fold it over. And it looks like you can heat emboss on, on it too. I know it goes through the scan and cut well and I know it die cuts well so the perfect all-round special card. Right, that's all my heat embossing done, so back in the pot with the rest of the powder, and time to put these layers on. As ever, I'm using the Pin Flare book binding glue. I have had questions as to whether any book binding glue will do, but believe it or not, there are different types of book binding glue. So you are looking for a PVA base, that is um, like a quick tack or quick stick with a thick consistency. You're not looking for a wallpaper paste type of book binding glue, which is used. To be honest, I believe pin flare ships around the world, so why not get some of that? They're 3D glue and the other types of glue and a bunch of other stuff while you're there. Okay, this was just a random scrap of gold card that I had. It's a textured gold card. So these car types of cards are a perfect way of using up that bit box. Okay, there you go. There's all my layers on. Now, this uh, the embellishments for this one I did skip ahead a little bit and did a bit of prep beforehand um, I've die cut some foliage but there was this sort of paper in the paper pad which when you die cut it with a flower die looks absolutely stunning especially if you then layer it up 
It's got a watercolour feel with a bit of glitter dusting on it. I've also um, layered the Namaste sentiment onto some black card and I've grabbed some Nouveau drops. Uh, I think they were called raspberry. And now I'm going to assemble it all. So first up the foliage. And then I made two large flowers. The other ones you see up there are kind of extras that I had available that I just wanted to show during this video. Uh, you can obviously make as many as you like and have them on hand for all of your card making adventures. It's up to you. Bunch of random pins, pearl headed pins, metal headed pins. Always good to have in your craft stash. I didn't want to use that one though. Don't know why I put that in there. Uh, so I've got some got like a pinky pearl one there and a gold. I think they'll work. Let's see. So on we go with the flowers. Push those pins down a bit. There you go. So that's all going to fit nicely. So I've got a foam pad on one end and then just basic glue on the other or the book binding glue so that it kind of rises up from behind the flowers. Now I'm going to try out the Nouveau drops and just make some random sized pearl drops around the design. white. Now I changed my mind about this gold pin and decided to put another pearl headed pin in. I thought it just worked much better. And then some Nouveau drops for the centre of the flower. And that is that card pretty much done. So you can see just using up little bits of specialist paper together with a few extra bits and bobs and you've got yourself a lovely card. Thanks for watching. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.